Now, the best <laughs> exotic Marigold Hotel, it's a, a lovely hotel. Not all hotel experiences are as good. Now, we do have some first-hand uh, knowledge of this because, Sharon Horgan, where were you a chambermaid? I was a chambermaid in, I think it was the Imperial Hotel or something that sounds like that. <laughs> it was years ago. <laughs> it was years ago. It was my first job after leaving school. And uh, so I spent a summer making beds and scrubbing um, human excrement out of uh, toilet bowls. That's it, well, at least it was out of toilet because bowls. Because it's... <laughs> <laughs> we all held our breath there. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's weird because I don't, think I, I don't think there was a single toilet bowl that wasn't kind of decorated. And, and I, oh. figure, I figure out it's because when people go on holiday, they're just like, I deserve to not clean my own crap out of my toilet bowl. <laughs> I'm just going to let someone else do it. Is that what holiday says to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah, I can use a holiday. <laughs> but you know, I'm on holiday. <laughs> and you know what that I, means. I may not use the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting near it. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not an animal. You know, you know the way you sometimes don't bother picking your knickers off the ground if you're in a hotel because you think someone's going to mm -hmm. come along and pick up my knickers and... And this uh, from the woman who did the picking up! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was, ex it was exciting. I, I always thought that, you know, I might meet someone, you know, in a sort of chambermaidy, maybe an attractive uh, man. Sure. Oh. Or, you know, in a, I'm sure... You saw that movie with J-Lo, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because, Dame Judi Dench, you have quite exacting... <laughs> Well, not exacting, but you're very specific. You are very regular with your hotel habits. Regular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not referring to. <laughs> She's on holiday. No. <laughs> 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 no. Don't you? When you're in London, don't you always stay in the same room? I do. I do. Well, no, not the same room. The same hotel. But this is where you've got your own dressing gown. They have given me a dressing gown, which had JD on it which I was very, very proud of. But then I had a kind of sneaky feeling that maybe if Johnny Depp stayed there, he'd go... <laughs> <laughs> now, they've changed... Or the guy it. from JD Sports. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, there are lots of people. But, the, but, the but now they now. put DJD on it. Uh, it's uh, heaven. Two, yes, two right now, it's yes. yours. Now pick the bones <laughs> out of that. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing. Thanks to the World Wide Web, anyone can now review a hotel, right? And uh, so we've come across these are actual online reviews of actual experiences people had in hotels. So here's the first one. I got to the hotel to check in, and on my way to the elevator, I slid right into a pile of diarrhea <laughs> that was located near the elevator. It got on my knees and my arm as well as my luggage. <laughs> the hotel staff did not help me in any shape or form and told me to watch where I was going, and it was my fault. <laughs> How is it my fault there is poop on the floor in the first place? My room was horrible and smelled like poop as well. I was disgusted. Never again. Now, what I like about this is one of two people found that review helpful. <laughs> Other person, no, that's not helpful. He still, yeah. he still gave it one star. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I think, having looked at these, I think one's the minimum. You can't oh, do a no star. Uh, uh, what's up next? <laughs> Uh, please take notice of this view. Me and my husband and two kids went to these apartments for a week, and I must say, never again. We arrived at 5 a.m. and were introduced by a member of staff, Ismet. As he took our passports, we sat down, and my daughter, 13, saw two people on the sofa next to the bar making love <laughs> whilst being videoed by the chef. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it in <laughs> They weren't doing a good job <laughs> making love. Well, <laughs> what they call <laughs> making love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like that service still got two stars. <laughs> <laughs> and location was excellent. <laughs> uh, next up. <laughs> Do not stay in this absolute dump of hotel. I use the term hotel very loosely. I cannot convey strongly enough how disgusting this place is. Blood-stained headboards that have clearly been up since World War, the first one. Rude stuff. <laughs> Windows that won't close, no hot water, broken furniture, dirty utensils, broken light fittings, and actual poo in the kettle. <laughs> Now, now, that's a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's your I am oh. so on holiday. <laughs> Very good. Let's see the next one. I wish we hadn't gone. Oh, now, this is a weird one. I don't know whether it's an actual spelling mistake or whether it's autocorrect. 
but it makes the review very confusing indeed. <laughs> I wish we hadn't gone. The meal was ruined by midgets everywhere. <laughs> and, and we were sitting inside. <laughs> we even moved tables near the back wall. <laughs> but we were either followed by them, or, or they were at that table till we woke up the following morning covered in bites uh. and very itchy. <laughs> Disneyland, though. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. Get off! Uh, uh, do we have another one? <laughs> this is... This is... Oh, this is... Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> we were given the keys to the wrong room and walked into the room to find a naked African gentleman washing his genitals in the sink. <laughs> Dev, are you whispering all of this to Dev? You're actually in her ear going, <laughs> washing his genitals. <laughs> Oh, terrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When Devdell writes a book, this is in it. <laughs> and then I said to Dame Judy Dez, washing his genitals. <laughs> uh, uh, next one. Uh, this is the final one. And I tell you, this is nice. I, I like this person. This person is just a sensible person. They've been around the block, because all the reviews are bad. This is just someone who kind of understands the world and sees the positive. For the price I paid to stay on New York's Upper West Side, I was surprised it wasn't worse. <laughs> the rooms smelled like armpits and years of filth, but there weren't any creepy crawlies, and I found the staff to be most gracious and helpful. I could have done without the blood-stained mattress and the Ooh. actual chunk of poop on my bedspread, but I didn't expect the Hilton. Overall, in a pinch, I would stay there again. <laughs> they... <laughs> I like this. This is, this is how good it was. They were quite happy to give me new bedspreads when I reported the poop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, very good. Okay. You sometimes feel the audience when you sing price tag now, like... <sighs> <laughs> Is that money, money song again? <laughs> Judy Dench unbuckles her pants and on her bum, as you say... Yes. JD loves HW. A tattoo. <laughs> he said, I put your name on my ass. <laughs> <laughs>